What's up guys? We're back into another video and today we're going to be teaching, teaching you how, how to make shurikens. Okay, so it'll look like this at, when you're done. It's, you can move it around and you can put it like this. You could throw it and um, you can fidget with it in class. So today we're going to teach you how to make them. You need, um, you don't need post-its. But you need a per you need a you perfect need square, square paper. paper. You need perfect square paper. So okay. Here so we go. oh, so how you start out is you need um you need um two colors of post-its. You can have as many as you want, but you need eight. So you can have you can use eight of this color, eight of any color, and um. So what you want to do, you want to get a post-it. If you have a post-it, if not, you can just use a square piece of paper. And if you have a post-it, get a sticky side, place it towards you. Here's a sticky side, place it towards you. Okay, you're going to get the top corner right here and fold it across so that it's a triangle. It's a perfect triangle. Like, like this. And then you're gonna go back and then you're gonna unfold it like you're gonna unfold it like this and you're gonna fold it in again you're gonna fold the other way so that there will be cross lines in the middle like this so you make a triangle and then you make and you unfold it and make another triangle so there's an X in the middle and remember always the sticky part will be facing you and then you're going to take this side, the front side that's not the sticky part, and then you're going to fold it forward. You're going to fold it half way, okay? Like this. And then basically, you're going to want to see the X with a line through it right there. Do you see that line? And then after that, when you fold here, you can keep it on the ground, and you would fold. you would take one side, you would fold it up, like you're making a paper airplane. And you would make like a little flap or something. Like this, okay? Like this. And you do the same thing with the other side. One more time. There you go. Oh, so you have this. And you're going to flip it like this with a sticky side facing any side you want. And then you're going to fold it up like this. Okay? Then you're going to see this. You're going to crease. See that line right there? Right here? That line? You're going to crease the bottom until you get to that line starting there. So you would get start right here and then crease all that triangle part. All of this stuff under there. Okay? And after that, you have this part that's not creased. Like this. And then you would fold it down halfway. And make sure that it's aligned. Like this. Like this. Okay? And you're going to fold it up like that. And then you're done. Uh, okay. And then connecting... Okay. And then connecting, so you're going to need seven, and right now I'm just going to snap and there will be seven. Okay, and anyway, so we're doing a red and green pattern, okay? You can take the red and green, you put, so make sure that there's, see how there's a hole right there? You don't want that to go... You want it to be like this, to connect just like that, okay? And then you tuck these in to the hole, so it looks like that. And then you want it to, it, you want it to be able to slide up and down, okay? And you keep doing it in the pattern. So now I've got red, green, red. 
and then you can keep on doing that. Yeah, and then so you also want it to be creased because otherwise it'll be weird. It won't really work. So you want to have it creased and everything. So if you look, you could just push it down and then just crease it. And then I will keep continuing. And you need eight for this. You can do seven, but seven doesn't work that no. well. So. And guys, comment down below if you want us to do more, like, paper things. Like, more things using paper, of course. Um, so I think we lost one. I'll get it real quick. Oh, okay. So basically, um, so now I've got seven right here, right? And I want to connect it, but not yet, because I need one more. And you can just keep on doing that. Alright, so guys, basically it'll look like that before you connect it. And then what you have to do right here is you put that at the take it, put it in like that so it looks like that. And what you want to do is you'll see before you do it, you'll see that there's two of these folded in, right? See there's two of these fold two of these folded in, right? So what you want to do is get put this in, but as you can see, these two, right, the two things that are folded in, you want to put this in between them. Yeah. And basically the last step is, just like all the other steps, you just tuck it, tuck it in, you tuck that side, and then that side, and then basically it looks like this, but you have to crease it a little bit. Flatten it with your hand. Okay. And now, you have to move it around a little bit yeah. for it to start. Do it in and out. Move it in and out twice. And then, for the first time you do it, put it on the table and push down on the middle. Yeah. So show them. So basically, down. it'll look like this. It'll look like that before. And then, just push it down a lot so that it's good so and then do it one more time yeah and then take it back out and then you could go back in again and then there you go so if if you liked it comment down below remember to like and subscribe and thank you for watching and, and bye bye, bye.